Hey y'all, it's Jo. Happy Memorial Day weekend y'all and also happy May 2-4 to Canada. So last weekend I finally got out of the house and my husband and I actually went and ate at a restaurant. It was glorious! <laughs> But anyway, um, it was so good to go out and eat. Um, the reason why I'm telling you about this is because while we were there, you know, I took a picture and we showed, I put it, I posted it on my Facebook page and that's me and my husband right there. And if you look at my hair, oh my goodness y'all, look at those fried dead ends. I was in desperate need of a haircut. So you can see all that got chopped off. Chop, chop, it had to go. <laughs> it had to go. Um, so anyway, so you can see, yeah, I got a little haircut. It's got a little stacky thing right there, but not like, not like it used to be, like major stack up and then angle down like that. You know, it's more it's more like this, so that is fine with me. I am so over trying to have good hair. It's just not in the cards for me. Um, genetics and thyroid, long flowing locks are, are not in my cards. So it is what it is, folks. I shall survive. <laughs> so do y'all remember me showing you this little baby phoenix bird that I did a while back? It, it it's our mascot for a crochet along that a, that a bunch of us were starting. But this is out of the book, Unicorns and Dragons, and it's the baby phoenix, Kiki. So um, this is our, our mascot and a couple of us, two, three of us, three of us did the, the uh, little phoenix for our mascot for the phoenix crochet along that a bunch of us are doing on um, on Sharon Zoom, which I'll link her channel down below if you wanna to try to get in touch with her. Anybody's welcome to join Zoom. You do not have to be a podcaster. You do not have to be doing the Phoenix. You can just come and join in and talk with a bunch of ladies all throughout the day. People go in and out all day long into the night. So, um, so this is the Phoenix cow. That might be a better picture of it. And that's, I wish there was a picture of it laid out flat. But anyway, if you're interested, I'm sure you can Google it and see all kinds of images and different colors and stuff. So um, I have picked out, so this is our little mascot, our little Phoenix. So I picked out um, nine different colors I'm gonna be using. In this blanket we kicked it off May 15th I think I told y'all that last my last video that we were gonna kick it off on May 15th which happened to be our friend sweet Melissa's um, birthday and so here's where I'm at with it so far it is extremely detailed and I want to say difficult but not because you know all the stitches right you know you know, the um, the popcorn stitch and the double crochet and the half double and the single and, you know, um, front post, back post. You know, they're all basic stitches that anyone can do. And if you can't remember how to do them, of course she has instructions on how to do that also included. But um, it's, it's so detailed. If you misinterpret one little part of her pattern it all gets thrown out of whack. So um, you have to check, check, double check, triple check, quadruple check, <laughs> count, 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 count. <laughs> anyway, I can see that this is gonna take a long time for me to get through this. And um, honestly, if I didn't have this group of, of friends doing this with me that I can, I can, you know, hop on, share and Zoom, or look at the video or whatever, I can say, I need help with round 10. Can you help me? I'm stuck on this part. I'm not getting the correct amount. You know, everybody's so willing and gracious to help anybody on there. 
And um, so anyway, I'm just loving it. I am, but I'm also, <laughs> y'all, oh, it's so tedious. And you know, if you've watched me any, I like quick and easy, right? But um, you know what they say though? Hard things are, are um, all good things like beautiful works of art or something that, you know, a big function you may have or whatever is a lot of hard work, but it's a, it's a payoff too. So you get tremendous reward for your hard work, right? So when I get through with this, I know I'm gonna be like elated and over the moon and it's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous and I'll probably be something I'll have till the day I die. But um, this is the yarn I'm using on mine. I'm using the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK. Now she has it, you can use any number of different color yarns you want or any type of yarn you want. You know, you just get the hook that corresponds to the yarn. Um, she does recommend a DK yarn and I forgot what size hook she recommends. I'm using the Soft and Sleek DK, but I'm using a four millimeter hook with mine. The Soft and Sleek DK is very thin and um, you see all my labels here? It's because you can't keep the label on this kind of ball. It just doesn't, you can't keep it on there and use it. So I just have all my labels stuck in there. I can't remember what colors, but so far, <laughs> so far so good for now. But anyway, she does have the pattern written out where if you choose a 15 color palette or a nine color palette, she kind of helps guide, you know, what rows to do what color. But of course, all that's preference, right? Personal preference. Some of our friends are just using um, like these type of cupcake yarns um, where the, the colors change and when they change, they change, you know? So it'll still be beautiful, it will be. Although I tease them all the time about color controlling. You mean you're not gonna color control that? You mean you're not gonna bring that color to the end of the row and then start with a new color? <laughs> And um, I have a lot of fun teasing them about my Joe CD, but for real, yo, <laughs> change that color. <laughs> Don't let it change in the middle of a row. <laughs> but that's the whole point of the cake color changing yarns, right? Anyway, um, so I have all my yarns stuck in here that I'm using for my blanket. And basically they're, well, I got this one in a sandwich bag, like these three really neutrals. Um, Oh, my mustard color got really messy, so I put it in this cake holder. I have one, two, three different blues I'm using. And also this oxblood that's called in this Irish rain. So those are all the colors. It's kind of a very neutrally palette, toned down muted colors with the blue and the and there'll just be a little bit of this and this thrown in, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. And the mustard. Yeah. Dijon. I think that's called Dijon. So got it all here in my little, in this tote bag. That's a 31s bag. I think yeah, a lot of y'all probably recognize that type of bag, but, um, yeah, so I'm excited about the, the Phoenix and I'll show y'all progress. On the next video. So speaking of the Phoenix and um, that's a hooked on sunshine pattern by the way. Um, there's quite a few patterns on her website that I am totally in love with and one of them I think I showed y'all a picture of this last time is Apollo the octopus and he is a whip now. He is, has officially started I'm using these two colors. This is my body color. This is um, te antique teal. And this one is, let's put on the eyeballs so I don't keep struggling. This one is Be Still. Well, that's a strange name, but anyway. So this is going to be the body color and this one is like the underbelly 
um, underneath the tentacles. Because if you can see here, the tentacles um, have two different colorways. Let me show you a better picture of the one that my friend and I decided to make is one more like this without the suckers. Okay, we decided not to do the suckers because it added so much more work to it. And I think you have to use a different size yarn. They, the little suckers just weren't coming out right. And I said, well, you know what? We can always put them on as an afterthought if we really want the little suckers on there. But I think it's just as cute without the suckers. So that is another reason why I chose this speckly type yarn for um, my underbelly and under tentacles. And here, so far, I only have two tentacles done. <laughs> but they are so fun to play with. This is where they get attached to the body so you don't stuff it all the way until you're ready to sew it on so you don't just keep losing your stuffing, right? So the tentacles are this long and I can't wait to get eight of these made. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm kind of concerned as to how much to actually stuff these because I've done amigurumis before in the past where I kind of stuffed them like this, like light, like medium, not real light, but like a medium. And then over time, it kind of squished down to nothing. So I'm afraid I don't want to understuff it, but it says not to overstuff it because um, these are actually made with double crochets, which I'm not too fond about either for amigurumi, but I'm just following the pattern. And... Um, so if you overstuff it, then the holes get stretched out and then the stuffing starts coming out. So that's another reason not to overstuff it. So another reason why I don't wanna overstuff it is um, I want it to be pliable like this. I want to be able to take those tentacles and wrap it around something, you know, and um, have it be able to bend easily. I wouldn't want, want this stiff where you have like eight legs just sticking straight out, right? They they need to be able to curve and swoop and everything. Because like the, like the Phoenix, I stuffed it hard. You know, I stuffed it really, really full because, well, I didn't want it to smush down into nothing. But I didn't want, um, so that's the reason why you would overstuff or stuff something really good. You want it to keep that shape. But this, I want to be more pliable. Does that make sense? So here's my third leg that I started right here. So this is how it's made in these pieces like this. Um, you know, you do one side and then you come back and you fill in with the other side. So when you progress, these are all the same. Uh, the underbelly or under... Uh, tentacle is all the same uh, stitch count, stitch, stitch width, but when you start doing the green, you get to a certain point and you go bigger. And then you get to this point and you go bigger. And then you get to this point and, it, and then you make the bigger, 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 bigger till the end with every row. Like this. Like that. So... That's where I'm at with that. So um, as you can see, this is a big undertaking too of a project. So that's gonna take me a while, but seems to be going pretty smoothly so far with a little bit of time I've had to work on it. So that's a lot of fun. So last video, I was telling y'all about how a bunch of us on a uh, share and zoom group liked we, we seem to, you know, get excited about different holidays or birthdays or whatever coming up. And we want to make something for that holiday and then take a picture in it. So any of y'all are welcome to do this also. Um, we decided since May 2-4 in Canada, which a few of them are from Canada, um, is celebrated as Queen Victoria's birthday, that we were all going to make a crown or a tiara or something to wear and the picture so this is what this is what I made this is what I came up with for my <laughs> for my May 2-4 picture 
I think it's a little pitiful looking, but it'll be all right. Now, it was originally just this, and I thought that was kind of plain, so I added these uh, extras onto the front four ones, so it's more like a like a woman's crown, um, or tiara type. So, that's to celebrate May 2-4, y'all, but in the comments um, on the last video, y'all know Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, she commented you know, that I thought it was May 2 4 was the beginning of spring, but it's the beginning of summer for them. I think unofficially start summer. And um, she says it's also called May 2 4 because that's when they go out and buy a case of beer <laughs> for 24 beers. And of course, she had the laughing emojis and stuff. So yeah, that's hilarious, Debbie. <laughs> While I'm talking about Debbie, y'all, did you see where her and Reggie from J Hooked Crochet? I'm pretty sure that's your channel. Re Debbie's from the Canadian Crotcheter, which I'm sure you all know, and Reggie from J Hooked Crochet. I'll link them both down below. They're doing a make-along that is called the Shall We Fudge It Make-Along. Shall We Fudge It Shawl. Shall, shall we fudge it? I'm sorry. Shall we fudge it? S-H-A-W-L. So it's going to be a make along. Of course you can make, it's not crochet along because there can be knitting or what, however you want to make it. So, um, so it's a make along and, um, the whole premise of it is to make up your own shawl pattern and it can be, you know, rectangular or triangular or however you want to make your shawl. Um, Sandy with, um, left is right crochet has started a beautiful one and it's like a crescent shape, which I really like that shape, the crescent shape. And it's so beautiful. We all, we keep telling her she's got to write down that pattern. People are going to want it. So, um, anyway, so yeah, I'll link their channels down below with their videos, um, with all the details on the make along. But um, that sounds like a lot of fun. And I think it's going to be, it's going to start on the, was it supposed to start on the 25th? Or was it running through June, the whole month of June? Anyway, I'll put all the info down below. I think I forgot to tell you that the whole thing about um, the fudget part is you're making it up. But if you skip a stitch or miss one on this side and have more on that side or whatever, you just fudge it and it's it'll still look beautiful. So I think that's the whole part of the, the fudge it part is um, make it work, make it work for you. So this weekend uh, here in America is recognized as Memorial Day. Um, Memorial Day weekend and um, Monday, usually of Memorial Day weekend is when they have the observance of it. So um, that'll be on the 25th of May this year. And, um, and it's memorialized by uh, poppies. And um, it's when we remember, you know, those who have fallen in um, for the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Um, and um, anyway, so I made this cute little poppy and a bunch of us on Zoom are also making poppies. So we'll wear these and take a picture or something sometime Monday, I guess. Um, I put this little, um, clip on it, you know, just kind of stuck it through some yarn back there. And I thought maybe I'd put it in my hair like that, but, oh, now it don't want to stay. There we go. <laughs> but it, the front view's not so good. On the side view, maybe kind of cute. <laughs> but, um, look, I can just stick it on my shirt right here too. There we go. Cute little poppy flower. So... Yeah, there's, I just Googled poppy crochet pattern and this came up as a written pattern. I don't even remember what blog, but um, there's a there's a bunch of them out there as you very well may know. Uh, yeah, so happy Memorial Day too. Do y'all know what else is going on Monday, May 25th? It is Nicole's birthday, y'all. Nicole with Addicted to Yarn. My sweet, sweet Nikki Boo. Happy birthday, honey pot pie. So I got a little happy mail, and um, many of you may know her. Um, this is the little box that came in. 
it is from whoops yarn hag ryan y'all look what she sent me oh my goodness i love it i love her logo i absolutely love her logo the little heart yarn ball with the crochet hook and the eyelashes right ryan and those those big beautiful eyes <laughs> i love it so yeah she um she put her logo on a on a stainless cup for me cold or hot right tea or whatever tea hot tea or cold tea that's me i'm a tea 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 <laughs> or coffee she also sent me this cute little shirt because she said when she saw it, she thought it was really cute. And I agree. She sent me this cute little shirt. Peace, love, and distance. <laughs> Although, honestly, I'm not all about the distance right now. Well, I know we're come, we're, some people are very much into that phase. And I am like, it's time to get together. It's time. If you're okay, I'm okay. I think we need to get together. <laughs> so anyway, I think it's absolutely adorable. So I can't wait to wash that and wear it because that is really cute. There's something else in this box that I can't show you yet. That may come later this summer. Um, this Look at this card. Isn't this hilarious? Wait, what? I can't read it backwards. There's no special reason for this card. And on the inside, it says, sometimes I just need to communicate with another classy human being. <laughs> so, and then she's got a little personal note she wrote in there, but it's really cute. Thank you, Ryan. I love it. I love it. I knew you were sending that one thing. You didn't need to send the extras, but um, thank you, honey. That's really sweet. I'm gonna post a link down to Ryan's channel down below. It's the Yarn Hag Ryan. Love that name. And um, she's great. So y'all go check her out if you if you don't know her already, which I'm sure you do. <laughs> so as far as an update on the Tunisian crochet along with Ron Strong, I don't I don't I have not done week three squares yet. So I still just have the six from week one. And week two, three squares a week, and I have not been able to work on week three squares, which I am hoping to this weekend. Now, as I am talking to you right now, it is Saturday afternoon, and evening, afternoon, evening, <laughs> it's almost 4 p.m. So, I'm hoping to um, at least do one square today and one square tomorrow, and then and then um, he should be putting out week four, which I think will be the wrap-up week, the joining and the border, um, probably Monday. So I need to I need to catch up, y'all. So in other quick like community news, um, my Hobby Lobby has clearanced not yarn yet, but they have clearanced some of the um, little extras, like the little trinket stuff is clearanced out. Also, some of the bags are clearanced. And, um, you know, all the other cutesy stuff that's on the end cap by the yarn aisle, a lot of that is clearanced out. So, go check your Hobby Lobby if it's open and see what you can scoop up on those deals. And also, my Michaels the other day had a ton, I mean a ton, of clearance yarn. I did not buy that much because I really want to, like, take it down a notch with the yarn buying and be a little bit more selective here in the future. I'm not saying I'm never going to buy <laughs> lots of clearance yarn or anything like that because I have a feeling when or if my Hobby Lobby does clearance out their yarn, I will probably go bananas. Just saying. But um, I, <laughs> I was able to mentally Block, uh, when I was in Michael's, I was able to get a hold of myself and not go crazy with their yarn clearance. But um, some of you may may like that. And they had a lot of um, more of the um, nicer, prettier yarns clearanced out also, like um, the Croy Sock yarn. 
Um, there's another, the, uh, oh, the DK something or another. It's in that pretty little ball wrap that's aggravating the work from. And um, Joy DK. And also there was another one called Kai, K-A-I by Loops and Threads. That was all clearanced out. Um, and we're talking $2.97 a piece. So almost everything on clearance was $2.97. So yeah, go check it out in your at your Michaels and see if they're doing the same thing. Speaking of Michaels, y'all, I did happen to watch Donna with Sunshine LeClaire. Um, her, I happened to watch her video this morning. Her Michaels in Canada, I forgot where she lives exactly in Canada, but they have all the new yarns there. And she was showing us some really delicious yarns. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't stuff up all the clearance because I want to get the new stuff, right? Other yarny news is Rose with Rose Likes Crochet is going to have a virtual craft fair on her Facebook uh, channel. So I'll link that down below and um, I'm sure she has the post pinned as to, you know, all the rules and everything for the virtual craft fair that's going to run the whole month of June, I think she said. Anyway, I'll post her video down below explaining it. And also link to her Facebook uh, page. So if you have like an Etsy shop or or whatever, I don't know what all those places are. What is Pinterest? I don't know. <laughs> um, if you have that, you know, you can do that, have a virtual craft fair at on her Facebook page. So that was very sweet of her. I don't have a page. I don't sell things. So um, just letting y'all know. And y'all know uh, Jennifer with Cinnamon Stitches. She has done another collab with Premiere. I haven't been able to follow it all week, but she did Premiere Week this past week. So I'll link her down below. And um, she's done a few tutorials on some of their patterns with their yarn. And I haven't been able to watch everything or keep up with all her posting. Um, it's been a busy, it's been a busy week at work, busy couple of weeks, but, um, and with other things going on. But anyway, um, I'll link her down below if you want to go check out what all she's got going on with Premiere and a giveaway too, I think. And one more really good quick news, Crochet Society box number 10 finally came in. And I'm so excited. This was a long time coming. It's a little beat up. Oh, well, that's okay. Everything's still good inside. Yes, I did already look at it. And now I want to go watch um, Sarah Jane's uh, opening video where she explains everything. And, um, oh, look, my nail polish matches. <laughs> um, and the next box I think should be coming soon. And they're calling it a bumper box. It's got a lot more yarn in it. It's going to be a much bigger box. This one's pretty, this one's a little taller than than some of the the other ones. It's got some big skeins of yarn in there. So I'm going to put this in a separate video. And um, so look forward to that. Hopefully I'll try to make one of the projects and then I'll put, you know, my two videos together of the opening and, and then the making the project. So I'm so excited about this one too, y'all. I just love this box. So y'all, I wanted to tell you about this tea I have tried. It's ginger peach turmeric. I think I've sent a couple of these off already in, in little happy mails. I think um, Dana Wonderless, I think she got one of these. And I think this is becoming one of my favorite teas. It is so good. Um, it's made by Bigelow. I ripped, I ripped the package on the top there, but yeah, it's made by Bigelow. Ginger peach turmeric. And look at my cute little bee mug. I got this at Joanne's. Um, probably last year. Anyway, um, so y'all, thanks y'all for sticking around for Joe's Web number 55. And be kind and be blessed. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.